New at six, a look at the growth of one of the city's most innovative institutions. Yeah, we want to go back to that story. We tried to bring you a little bit earlier. For more than 70 years, Southwest Research Institute has pushed the boundaries of scientific and engineering applications. Tiffany Huerta shows us how the founder's vision continues to inspire them today. It's far surpassed my father's vision of what it could have been back then because it was so long ago. Chuck Slick's father's legacy lives on today. Helping the, the, the world through science and engineering, which was my father's uh, vision. His father, Thomas Baker Slick Jr., founded Southwest Research Institute in 1947. At this morning's 71st annual meeting of advisory trustees and board of directors, the latest research and initiatives were showcased. Randy McDonald is the manager of drivetrain research and development. We don't currently have a menu or a list of tests that are used to, to evaluate um, the oils that go into electric machines. So what Southwest Research has done is use internal funding to do our own research to come up with that list of tests. Chief Financial Officer Beth Rafferty says the institute is diversified with commercial and government clients. Our revenues were up in fiscal year 2018 by over 10 percent and we're about about a fourth of our way through our fiscal year 2019 and revenues are up by 15 percent. She says at the Institute they can find experts from different areas from chemical engineering to intelligent systems. We have a mission to help mankind through science and technology and growth is sort of a, a natural thing that happens when everything comes together. Southwest Research Institute has more than 2,600 employees. Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News. A few weeks ago, we saw the first images of the farthest object out in space to be visited by a spacecraft. It's called Ultima Thule, which means beyond the known world. Southwest Research Institute is leading the science team on the NASA New Horizons mission.